welcome everybody. Ooh. To uh, You know, you know this place, you really should. Been here for over 10 years. It's a bookstore on the surface, but it's so much more than that. It's a cultural center. I've been producing shows here for 10 plus years, jam sessions. There's music, all kinds of music. Celtic music, Osmer music, Brazilian music, jazz. These guys don't really fit any category. <laughs> That's a good thing. No, I mean, that's why I call it a series of creative music series. They used to call it Jazz First Project. But I didn't, some people have, have a very uh, narrow uh, definition of what jazz is, and they, uh, they don't like it. You know? So this way, you say creative music, whoever's creative can play. Yeah. So I book all the events for that. And uh, these guys are old friends of mine. I'm happy to say that. We used to work together 25 years ago at Sunlight Cafe. So it's kind of nice to see them evolve with their musical world. Uh, Margo is a, a very interesting vocalist and keyboard player. Kevin, I, I, I don't even want to describe. All around the weirdo? Now. Yeah, he is something all around the weirdo. He defines eccentricity. And he's, you know, mostly a self talk drummer, right? Autodidactic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I, I thought of Kevin when I met him, he was like a little green guitar player, a noisy, angry guitar player. Still angry. Oh, I, know. I know that. Yeah. <laughs> but when he started playing drums, I was like, oh, he played in some of my workshop bands, and he played in a couple of them, and I was like, oh, who's this guy? Yeah, he's a little rough around the edges, you know? <laughs> anyway, I've heard these, I heard you kind of about a month or so ago. And uh, I really liked it, so I wanted to, to have them play here as part of it. And if you can stay up, I know Seattle Lights are famous for going to bed early, but if you can stay up past the first set, these guys will play for about 40, 50 minutes or so. Then my group, which is with Michael, wherever he is, and Gabe, we're called the New World Trio, and we uh, feature a lot of percussion from North Africa, Morocco, Egypt, Turkey, West Africa, with jazz improvisation, meaning horns and flutes, and synthesized sound like that. So, and we do all improvisation. We don't play. We create our songs in the moment, and we're dedicated to that. A lot of it is very tonal, very rhythmic. So if the milk gets the horn scared you, you can lock into the rhythm. So with that to do, uh, here's Margo Adrift. This is a lover's chateau 
We just kind of picked a lot of um, songs from different periods um, of our of our songbook. Um, this is uh, actually a poem I wrote when I was a kid. It's called Ladybug. Uh, how does it go? <laughs> Ladybug, so little and small. that I wrote 
Um, based on where the wild things are, and this is when uh, Max is gets in the boat and goes off to the place where the wild things are. We changed it a little bit. Oh, we didn't. Well, we didn't change it. Quickly the calendar is racing by the pages slip before our eyes the calendar is racing by the pages slip before our eyes the calendar is racing by the pages slip before our eyes the calendar is racing by the pages slip before our eyes Drifting on the sea, we're floating on the ocean, we're drifting on the sea, we're floating on the ocean, we're drifting on the sea. Time passes quickly, the calendar is racing by the page of slip before. but it's okay, it's good to be quiet. Um, this song is called Finland, and um, it's a song about friendship and how a friend can hold up a mirror that you can see your dreams, and you can see their, you can hold up a mirror to their dreams. Um, and Kevin can sing La 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 on this song. <laughs> his job is to sing la la la. Uh, okay. The poem begins, you look like you're a past place back at last, it's perfect. So take a shoe one out of your hands. Go mount the fridge and seize a Finland with your love. Finland and I did 
get to go to Iceland. And um, this next song is has a little bit of Iceland in it. We um we designed this set to be like every song like under like between two and three minutes. <laughs> songs with Mel, so that's one of the songs we've recorded, and then also this one which is called Floating Zone.
and this next one is called is actually um, called Gatsby, and it's actually uh, about well after the book Gatsby. Oh, the Great Gatsby. I forgot. I forgot that the book was called The Great Gatsby because I just thought it was. Yeah, I thought that it was that my song was the the, the book. I, the song became more important than the book. And I forgot that it was actually The Great Gatsby, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry if Scott's his show. The Not So Great Gatsby. The timeless moon haunts a mansion in the glow with a So we're starting with the grouchy guy, then we're playing the flop, and then we're playing unicycle. Okay. We'll just play it right through. All right. <laughs> like we're the run around.
from a green eggs and ham. Don't fret what may come after. It might look like a disaster, but everybody here can do the flop. But I'm bound to put one foot in and then the other. Don't worry about your mother. Everybody wants to do the flop. Life is easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Everybody's free to do the flop. But I'm bumping one loose flop is a doozy. Watch out, here comes Tommy Susie. Everybody's here to do the flop.
about is endings like every every time we practice he's like we just like botch our way through the song I mean we're inspired we do you know whatever and all he's fixated on is the ending and it's like he's like well if we end it right and it's kind of true I mean it is true it's like well like but anyways that's Kevin's specialty if you want help with an ending talk to Kevin and I'm completely serious. <laughs> <laughs> that's, my, that's, my, that's what I have to say. <laughs> this song is called Red Shoes. <laughs> Why do you think I don't love you? Who wants to hold your hand? Shoes. Just as they predicted, I've been such a bitch. You were looking at my shoes and you were thinking, oh, she didn't get those at a thrift store, did she? I'd 
have it more like Fairport Convention, where the lyrics are central, given my way. And just, just as he predicted, I've been such a bitch. She was looking at my red shoes and thinking, who's that girl dancing like that to Curtis Mayfield? Last night at the party, I was an elegant nutcase. Just as they predicted,
the black keys that perfect capsule of forward thrust that luminous atom of stardust Thank you, Kenny, for having us. Um, it's so nice to be here and it's nice to play music and have a great audience. Thank you um, for having us. Um, we have stickers. Uh, okay, this, this is our last song. It's called Getting to Know You.
Sticky sound. What do you call? What do you call? I would call what? You have a name? The band. New World Trio. New World Trio.
by some guy in Portland. What? Yeah, I left a pawn on him. It's giant. Wave it. It's a dumb piano for giants. Yeah. <laughs>
that for us. No, 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 no. <laughs> That was space for you. Yeah. So I have to fly that. Thank 